is sponsored by me. For those of you who are in the holiday mood and are looking for the holiday mood type ugly sweater, I have released an all-over print design that features your favorite things such as Derpy Burb, Derpy Soar, and Salty Crafter, with the saying, snow is just fluffy salt. Comes in both a knitted and non-knitted design as well. Please note that these are tighter than the usual sizes. So even though I would normally take a medium, for this design I would take a large. Not just that, but the prints are actually embedded in the fabric itself. But hey, if you're not into holiday season, in about 10 days I'm going to be releasing three new designs. So you can weigh your option then too. Hey Greens! Welcome to Cash or Trash, the show where we review craft kits to make sure that I waste my money, but you don't. Joining me today is my very antsy burb, right? Yeah! You wanna bring your butt over here? Bring your butt! Bring it! Are you dancing behind me? Stop dancing! Bring it! I'm sorry. And goodbye. Alright, you know what? He's a little too antsy. We're gonna change him in... We're gonna change him into his human form. You ready? Human form? Ready? I need you, I need you over here. Alright, human form has been accomplished. Joining me to the... Are you done? She wants pets. And I'll bite you. Ah! <laughs> Joining me today is my sister Sika. Say hello. Hello. And we're going to be looking at three craft kits from Walmart. Let me know which one of these three do you have the most hope on. The first one is Gloopers 3D Paint Pets. However, if we look at the box, it has dinosaurs. I don't know when dinosaurs were pets, but you know. Like maybe 65 million years ago? Uh huh. When you were born? Whoa! <laughs> Next, we're going to be looking at the Poopsie Slime Unicorn Crush. It just looks like an absolute mess. I've been looking for this one everywhere, and we finally found it. And then last but not least, we're going to be looking at It's So Me. So Me. Cute Chem Lab. It, it's supposed to be a chemistry lab, but if we look a little closer, it says create a bath bomb. Just one bath bomb. Slimy compounds and more. You weren't very good at chemistry, were you? Actually, I failed chemistry. <laughs> I had to do it a second time. <laughs> Our first kit. Gloopers 3D Paint Pets. I really love the design of this box, more specifically because a couple of dinosaurs that are on there. The first one on the absolute left looks like he has a 80s purple mohawk. And he's like, you see I have my own cassette player and my Walkman and my overalls. So 80s, right? Uh, sure. <laughs> and then... It's starting again, isn't it? <laughs> Are you gonna interrupt me again? I forgot what I was gonna say because I interrupted you by accident. <laughs> and then on the absolute right, it looks like everyone's derpy friend. Are you trying to see it closer? Yeah, I'm trying like this. There you go. This one? Yeah. So it's it got a funny smirk. It does. It's like. So I'm really excited to try and make some really derpy creatures because obviously this box is not hiding the fact that their dinosaurs are derpy. Derpy dinos. Derpy dino dudes. Derpy dino dudes. I was Say that five times. Derpy, derpy dino, dino dudes. dudes. Derpy dino dudes. Derpy dino dudes. Derpy dino dudes. Derpy dino dudes. Oh yes! <laughs> All right, enough jibba jabba. Time to see what we get inside. No, I wanted to open it. Were you even open? Oh. <laughs> I am protected. <laughs> Give me that. Here's what we get inside. We get four molds. This derpy looking guy. This one who has a mouth over his eye. Technically, I thought this was his eye and this was like a cheek, so he was going like, hmm. I a feel mouth. like this is a mouth and this is the eye, so it's like, you know, people who do the texting with the upside down smiley face? You mean how I always text yeah, my how you text it. <laughs> We got a flying dude and then this guy who has a mohawk. I love the mohawk one. <laughs> <laughs> and then we get paints, but here's the interesting thing about those paints is that they are sodium alginate paint tubes What's that? I'm glad you asked. So if I remember correctly Sodium alginate is kind of like those jelly things that float so it's supposed to be like a jelly You know what? I'll put a b-roll you grains can see that it's kind of like what macaroon did you, you see the b-roll Okay, I can't explain it. Stop looking at me <laughs> like that. I can feel your eyeballs staring at me It's like you have four set of two sets of eyeballs four sets of eyeballs. Well, you have four eyeballs, four but sets. two sets. Four sets. Caca. <laughs> I think that hat is too much for you. It goes caca. It's a hawk. <laughs> oh my god, this one goes caca too. <laughs> An eagle? No. A vulture? It's black. A crow. A crow, yes. So we 
we get it in pink, blue, black, and yellow, as well as white. We also get calcium chloride, some stickers, because I love my stickers so much. Is this supposed to be our terrarium? Terrarium? Yeah. So they did say that terrarium is included, but it's just- It's just a small plastic container. I know. What's going on with that? It's like a perfect size for sauce. You know, like for dipping. <laughs> for dipping and stuff. <laughs> we also get tweezers for some reason. Is it to pick them out? Mm -hmm. Let me pluck your eyebrows. Just like you used to do them when I was a kid. Oh no! <laughs> and we also get instructional manual. A little instructional sheet. Does the instructional sheet say that we're supposed to get our instructions? No. Man, I don't know if I get the instructions. How am I supposed to know if the instructions are supposed to be there? So as the instructions mentioned, we're going to be taking one and a half cups of water and dissolving half the packet of the calcium chloride. All right, now that our mixture solution is done, we're going to go ahead and decorate whichever dinosaur we want. Which one do you want? I want Mohawk Dino. I think I'm gonna get this one with the weird smile thingy going on here. I'm not sure what's happening, but I want this one. All right, time to decorate. One of the struggles of recording with Sika is that she's left-handed. And she's right-handed. So, so we're sitting on the opposite side, and I can't sit over there, because- This is my spot, dang nabbit! So I'll just color you. Don't do it! <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and color our- Our dinosaurs! And I think I want my dino to have pink and blue mohawk. So I'm gonna start with the mohawk. You were gonna do what I was gonna do with these. <laughs> pink and blue? Yeah. Well, I mean, we have four colors, so... I don't know if they give us enough of this sodium alginate thing, whatever, the, the, the paint. I don't know if they give us enough for the entire dinosaur because if we're making two, are there enough paint tubes? That's, that's, that's what I'm wondering too. I don't think there's gonna be enough. You excuse yourself, please. I didn't think you heard it. I heard everything. <gasps> you hear it? You're so mature. Really wish we had green. Yeah, I think green would have been really nice in, in this. Let's try to mix them. I'm gonna I take out some containers and we're gonna try to mix these. What are you doing there? Why are you chuckling? It keeps farting. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and take our blue and yellow. Yellow. And make green. Yes. And then make a lighter green. We're gonna have two different greens, so maybe my dinosaur can be brown. I'm gonna try and make a brown dino. You're gonna make a green dino? Okay. Alright, go ahead. Let's squeeze some of that stuff. And we mix it. Oh, it does work. Pretty good. All right, off we go. Spread that stuff. Do you have enough? I don't think so. All right. I guess I'm gonna try and- It looks like it could be enough. Otherwise, yeah, you just make some more. Yeah, I'm gonna try and spread it. Spread what, it. What are you- what? <laughs> As fetting the feet. <laughs> so Sika's dino looks really cute and green. Let's try to make my brown dino. All right, here's pink, blue, and let's go for yellow. Hopefully the pink is magenta E enough to give us a nice brown, but I guess we'll find out. So far it's green. Put a little more pink in there. Excuse yourself. Excuse me. Oh, maybe a little black. That's it. So I seem to have managed a kind of grayish green. It's like a swamp green. Mine's like a happy green. Yours is like, I'm sad. I'm sad green. I am a cloudy day green. Now that you're spreading it, it looks very gray. That's not what I wanted, but okay. You must up. I done must up. All right, now, so the idea is we're supposed to be able to submerge our dino into the water and it should lift, kind of like a jello type texture and fall in. I don't know if I'm gonna do it right, but let's try it. Can we do both dinos in the same water? Yeah. They won't stick together? No. Okay. Here's our dino and j Oh! Oh, look at that! It's shrinking! Wow, that is... is... Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say something really wrong. The it's... water pulled. The water's very cold. So it's shrinking. <laughs> Alright, let's keep jiggling. Oh, oh, oh. oh and it it's supposed weird. to float right off. There we go. There's our first little dino. <laughs> um, it looks weird. Are you okay? No. <laughs> you ready? No. <laughs> Why? I don't want to just take yours. Oh, I think it should be okay if you gentle, gentle. All right, so here they are five minutes later. What is this? <laughs> oh! No, 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 no. Wait, no, no. Wait, oh, Do you there. Just, I, got, <laughs> I got stressed there. I know, I got, I'm like, ah! All right, let's see. It's, oh no. 
It looks so weird. Oh, it's so creepy looking. It looks like an alien. It's like shiny, like what the aliens usually look like on TV to make them look all slimy and gross. This is literally what it looks like. It's so creepy. It is pretty gross. And even the pink doesn't show through, but it's supposed to shrink a lot more apparently in about three hours. Oh, is yours okay? <laughs> look, he's so jelly looking. Oh, it feels so weird. It is so jelly-like. Don't, don't, don't break them. Actually, you want to do something? What? Let's make little balls. What do you mean little balls? <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Let's oh, just. Mine's got a weird pimple thing going on too. Look. What is this? Don't. Jake, Emma, what are you doing? Do you want me to stop the pimple? Why do you have a pimple? Why do you have a pimple? Ew. Jake, stop. <laughs> All right, just for science, we're gonna dunk this ah. in here. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm gonna ah. loosen it up, and then I'll let you pop it. Sounds good? <laughs> I've already- Wait, wait, wait! Give it a couple of sec. I know you wanna pop. Look at me. Focus. <laughs> you ready? So, here is Sika's little ball. <gasps> Did you just squeeze it? Yeah. So, as your brain saw, let's replay that, because I was not looking. What it causes is the outside layer to kind of be like a grape skin, and then the inside is very jelly e and slime e. We used to have like little bath things we used to put in that had the same texture. Right. Do you remember what I'm talking about? Mm hmm It feels very far in my memory. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna set these aside for about three hours and see what happens, but so far, is this worth your cash or does it go in the trash? So we're going to set this aside for about three hours and then we'll give our verdict on whether or not it is cash or trash. Whether it's cash or goes in the trash. trash. Our next victim, Poopsie Slime. <laughs> you it drifted. It our next victim, Poopsie, Poopsie slime, slime Unicorn Crush. I will be a unicorn burp. You are a caca. <laughs> Why are you cacaing everywhere? <laughs> this unicorn crush slime costs eighteen dollars. Eighteen dollars. That's very expensive in my opinion, but it does feel very hefty. So I hope whatever's in there is Did you worth just it. Just say the word hefty. Yeah. Who uses the word hefty? You don't use the word hefty. It's like in my daily vocabulary. 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 <laughs> English number one. <laughs> so yeah, as as Sika said, it is quite heavy. Hefty. Hefty. But at $18, it's gotta be one of the most expensive slimes I have ever seen. According to the box, you just crush glitter and slime. So this is gonna be interesting. All right, time to see what's inside. What we get inside. Where's your sharp pointy thing? I was really afraid you were gonna like, bam. <laughs> what is this? These instructions can hurt someone, look. <laughs> <laughs> Those were really heavy. I mean hefty. Oh. It still didn't come out! <laughs> Don't go flaunting around! Your horn! You don't like my horn? Oh my god! Oh, if there's anything that is worth $18, it's probably the packaging. The packaging. There! I'm a horny crafter! <laughs> All right, little did I know, this is a whole process. I mean, look at the instruction sheet here. We need warm water, we need to dunk our hands in water, then we need to crush something but not touch it. So, I'm gonna read the instructions and let you grains know. This is, this is way more work than I expected. So according to the instructions that Sika read, you have to pour out your slime into the empty container. Then you have to take the horn out of the horn, dunk it underwater for 10 seconds, and then crumble it on top of the slime, and then mix it all together and leave it uh, five minutes for the slime to be less sticky. That seems pretty straightforward. Yeah, they had nine steps for that. Wow. Yeah. All right, let's get going. <laughs> all right, how does it feel? Oh, 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 ah, ah, it's glue. So the slime on its own is quite sticky. Sticky. Very sticky. Oh, uh, gross. And it came out of a horn. What kind of horn? <laughs> Has it been 10 seconds? It really wasn't counting. <laughs> What's wrong with your English? Okay, I think that's 10 seconds. Look. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, it's oh so no. Pretty. What is that? No. Oh, wow. That's that is gorgeous. That is really pretty. <laughs> All right, so here we have the sand slime and the glitter. Oh, my God. Get. Okay, we're supposed to squish it. You want to squish with me? No, I want to keep the glitters on my finger. Look. Yes, it's pretty, but you can... No! Oh, it barely stuck to your Oh, eyes. good. All right, ready? And squish. Oh, what? There's so much glitter. That's a lot of glitter. So as you can see, there's so much glitter. It is a I don't ridiculous. Even see the slime anymore. Where's the slime? I don't know, but this is a ridiculous amount of glitter. This is more glitter than anyone should ever have in one spot. 
So all we're supposed to do now is mix this until it is fully combined and we should be getting a completely different slime. Then we're supposed to leave it for five minutes? Yeah, okay. this is gonna be too sticky. All right, let's do the doing. Look at that, that's $18 of glitter. Of glitter. So here it is, we mix them thoroughly together. We're supposed to wait about five minutes at this point, but our hands are full of glitter. And some of the slime won't come off either, and when you try to take it off, it actually doesn't fall off. So then we're gonna have to wash our hands and it's gonna go all down the drain. So this is not cool because right now we're going to have to wash all of this and it's just not environmentally safe. And also, part of it came out in the water, which means this has to also go down the drain. There's nothing that infuriates me more than having to put glitter down the drain. This is not okay. This honestly, companies, this should be illegal. Having glitter that is not biodegradable should not be legal in craft kits or anything that you have to wash down the drain. Right, Sika? Right. Are you frustrated? Very. Look at this bowl. It's not gonna come out from the underneath. No, this glitter is not going to come off. It doesn't come off easy. No. Five minutes later. So here we are, well over five minutes later. You, you seem very upset, Sika. I don't want to try it. Do you want to put on some gloves? I'm going to do this for the team. So, so far, even though it's been well over five minutes, it's still on the sticky side. I don't want to grab the whole thing because I don't want... Oh, it's actually a lot less sticky than before. Oh, really? That's good. Yeah, that's good. Hang on. Let's take it out. Oh my god. Yeah, it's still sticky, but not as sticky as before. So it has this fluffy type slime, but listen... That's quite a bit of slime too. So that at least is a good thing. So the question is, is this worth your cash or does it go in the trash? The answer is pretty simple. In the trash. All right, so side note, they do give us a container to put this in, but it doesn't fit. That's and what she's. Yeah, see, if you try to put it in, it's going to start pushing out on the sides, kind of like when I try to wear pants. <laughs> And it's not even the whole amount because we threw out some. Yeah, so, poopsie slime, nay. Gosh, I thought I missed the garbage. <laughs> Next we have Cute Chem Lab by It's So Me by Horizon Group. And what got our attention right away is that it does say 10 experiments to choose from. It doesn't mean you can do them all. At least that's what I understand. Look, it says create a bath bomb. Just, just one. One. Do you want to make two bath bombs? No. No. Just one. Just one. And I'm really curious, why is it that a chem lab has to be cute and pink and fluffy? Why can't we get some kind of real science stuff? Because it's supposed to attract girls. So it's all pink and cute. And it's so judgmental. Yeah, because I don't even like pink. <laughs> I grew up on, on, on Ninja Turtles. And when we turn the box around, holy moly, what do we see? It, it says, says, includes everything you need. And we all know, it's a bunch of blacks. It does not include everything you need. It never does. Oh, you raised your voice. I'm so proud of you. Apparently I never talk loud enough, so. She mumbles a lot. <laughs> eh, huh? Time to see what's inside. Oh, I see why you need to not. That's dangerous. <laughs> Before we go on any further and list the materials, look at the instructions here. Just in that one area where it says 10 experiments to choose from, this one, liquid layers, includes nothing. nothing. Even though it clearly said on the box, includes, includes everything you need. Why did we go opposite way? Again. Includes everything you need. <laughs> look at all this. Not included. Not included. Lights is included. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry, I love you. So I'm not going to list everything that's in here because there's quite a bit. So this here cost me $20. Is it worth it? We'll find out at the end. Hang on, I'm, I'm turning the camera back on because she's so frustrated that I needed to catch this moment because she makes me proud. What were you saying? I just don't understand when it says on the packaging right here, includes everything you need. And then the next sentence goes, here's what you will need. Baking soda, not included. Empty plastic bottle, not included. Spoon, vinegar, not included. Straw, not included. Scissors, not included. Packing tape, not included. Water, not included. Tub, not included. Like, what is this? What is this sorcery? Well, you know what? At least we know that for the bath bomb, things are included and for the crystal so we're gonna be doing it these two. Includes everything you need. Bullhogate! Oh my god! Alright Grains, this is Horizon again. <laughs> if you see here, Horizon is also known to make spelling mistakes. I mean we looked at one of the craft kits that they had, I think the Barbie one, was absolutely hilarious with typos. And here, in a bowl, at, at least 15 ounces in size. Not, Not at least. At, at least. least. So, so you might need a parent for the least. <laughs> Make sure you are of illegal age for the lease. 18 years of age, with good credit. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, so according to the instructions, we're going to pour all the bath bomb mix and baking soda from the packs, mix thoroughly, and break up any clumps. We're going to add color by using the mica powders. Then we're going to be adding half a teaspoon of water and then mix it all up and put it inside the mold. So even though the ingredients said that we could only make one, obviously they don't even know their craft kit properly because we made two of them. And they're both very crumbly. They're fragile, like my heart. They always break them a hot. They break them. Not you though. Other people, they break them a hot. Now let's be very clear. This is a chem lab, which means I'm supposed to learn something as I'm doing this. Why are these ingredients necessary? I don't know. It was just a bath bomb mix and baking soda. And nowhere on the instructional manual was there anything that actually explained it to me. So is it a chemistry lab? Nah. I learned nothing. nothing. Nada. What a haga. Oh Today's Arabic word of the day. Walahaga. Means nothing. Literally means nothing. Time for the moment of truth. So it's been sitting for as long as it instructed us to do. And but it's still crumbling. Whoop. Oh, our biggest cons- Stop throw- Stop it! We want to see how well it fizzes, but we can't <gasps> do that. It's falling apart! <laughs> okay, slowly do it. Ready? Go. Slowly. It is fizzing pretty well, but another thing that you grades should know is that it smells like nothing. nothing. There's no scent, and the only color that we have is from the mica powder. Thankfully, no glitter though. But, yeah, it smells like nothing. It's kind of boring when you want to take a bath and there's no nice smells or anything to it, so. But for people who have allergies, I'm sure they appreciate that. However, it's still not a chem lab. I didn't learn anything chemistry-like. So as a chem lab experiment, this one here, even though it does work in terms of fizziness, it's super crumbly, and I learned absolutely nothing. Did you? Nope, nada. Which means it goes in the trash. By the way, while Sika is reading the instructions for the crystals, apparently we need a plastic cup not included. Thank you for nothing. So since we don't have everything we need to make the crystals, we decided to make the instant snow. Sika, you're like half into yeah, the no, frame. I was like, this too was like this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you just might as well just peek with your, your burb head. <laughs> oh no, you look so weird. And as Sika is reading the instructions, step three, pour instant slow, slowly, and watch it puff up. So it's supposed to be snow, but it said slow. Yeah, so we're pouring the slow, slowly. Got it? Slow. You don't pour your slow fasts. Slow, slowly. <laughs> so according to the instructions, we're going to add half of the Petri dish with water, add some color of choice, and glitter optional, but we know we ain't gonna add no glitter. No glitter. And then all we have to do is pour the instant slow, slowly. Again, so far, nothing says why. What is the chemical reaction? Because this is a chem lab. Disappointing. Time for our fake slow. Okay, so we're gonna pour the slow slowly and watch it puff up. Just slowly. This is very slowly. Look. I think that was a little too slow. This was very melodramatic. Very anticlimactic. How much did we pay for this game? $20. $20 for that. And I still have this much left, so I poured it very slow, slowly. <laughs> but it's supposed to be instant snow, right? Oh. Does it feel weird? Oh, it's so weird. Did you learn anything? No. I didn't learn anything. A lot of mistakes in their in their things, so I'm pretty sure we can't learn anything from them because all we're doing is making mistakes. <laughs> oh, oh! No, but for real though. It's true. Why would you trust something that has... We already found two typos in like 10 seconds. We didn't even read all of them. Pretty sure we could find more. And when it comes to this fake snow, a lot of people do use it to make slime, like fluffy type slime, which has a very nice texture. However, when it comes to chem lab and any kind of learning experience, it is quite underwhelming. So in essence, for me, this whole cute chem lab is extremely gimmicky. It's, it's a phony. It says... Yeah, it's chemical. Are you done? No. Okay, yeah. It... I'm just yawning. <laughs> <laughs> it clearly says on the box, includes everything you need. You went the wrong way again. No, you went the wrong way. Ready? <laughs> yeah. Includes everything you need. But it actually really doesn't include everything. The box really does look like it includes a lot of stuff. What are you even doing? <laughs> the feather. It was just floating. So for us, this kit is floating up. <laughs> are you hungry? Yeah. I'm gonna feed you, okay? Focus. Focus with me two seconds. This kit for us goes straight in the trash. 
three hours later. Time to check on our little dinos after it's been a little over three hours now. And they are quite firm. I don't think they shrank that much more than the initial bit, but they're still pretty squishy. Yeah, it's pretty cool. The box did say squishy. Now the question is how squishy is it? Before it blows up. Before it blows up. And the answer is... Oh, oh it's oozing. It's still leaky. Oh, I don't think mine is. Mine is still pretty leaky. How's yours? <gasps> oh! oh, my camera! No! Ah! <laughs> So essentially, <laughs> here is what's left of Sika's dino. It's, it was pretty smushed. When you throw it back into the water solution thing, it does go back and harden, so. It burns my fingers, so if you have any cuts, do not put your hands in there. Yeah, it's like a salty algae, I believe. So now the question is, is it worth your cash or does it go in the trash? And for... <laughs> that was my tummy. <laughs> And for under $8, this kit really kept us busy. It was entertaining. I thought it was pretty fun. It didn't boast that it was anything scientific other than just pet 3D little critter things. So for me, personally, I would say worth your cash. Yeah, worth your cash. It's only like, what, $5 too? Yeah, I believe it's either under $8 or under $5. It's, it's been a while. It's a small little activity, so it's, it's kind of worth it in my opinion. Maybe wait an extra hour or two before his guts spill out everywhere. All over your camera. Before I let you brains go, one of you sent me a hat. I don't know much about it other than the fact that it said to open it at the beginning of a video. However, you I keep forgetting at the beginning of a video. So I'm opening it now. I'm, I'm really excited because you brains are so talented. So <laughs> what, what? what? It says saltiness ahead. I knew, I knew you grains like to wrap things inside things and in boxes, inside boxes. It better not be a third one because by salt, I will come and rain salt upon you. And. <gasps> Ooh, what is that? Oh my gosh, it's probably a salt. Oh, is that a salt shaker hat? Oh my god. Oh, oh, that is a salt shaker hat. Oh, that is adorable. Let me put it on. It seems I have a little bit of a big head, but I'm, I'm pretty salty, so. So thank you so much, Halo with Spikes Sush. I'm pretty sure I can stretch it out just a little bit. I love the facial expression. This is really cool. I love this. I don't want to try it on. No! Okay, you can try it on. Thank you so much for watching, my little grains. If you want to watch another crafty cash or trash, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch a video YouTube thinks is just right for you, check it out down here. And if you want to reach my sister, you can find her on Instagram at nerdysister_sika. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.